<laughs> Dang. That's a personal best right there. Well, as it turns out, the last couple passes that I had on this car, we actually had no working water pump. So we're gonna swap this water pump out and try and get this thing on the dyno. And we wanna try and figure out what is going on after about 27 pounds of boost. So we know what it makes on about 20 pounds. We don't actually know what it makes on 27 and why we have a breakup issue at 29. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I think that's, I don't wanna run anything past 29. I mean, 27 is good. 29 would be better. 35 is prime. Yeah. See my ducks in here I made? You'd be proud of me. I want you to come over and take a look at it. Cool. Are they ducks or are they geese? Come on. <laughs> so I've locked that all off. So That's pretty good. Get our oldie and actually the other oldie. Yeah. Should go fire that thing up, Brady. Nothing. I'm not getting nothing? No. Here we gotta check and see if we get some chafing under there. But apparently I had all of it in there. Just doing a quick little pressure test and uh <laughs> that blew my contacts out. <laughs> We're all, all right. we're all soaked here. All right, so it turns out it actually wasn't the water wow. pump there. Uh, there was a terminal down in there that they had, and uh, one of the terminals there. broke right on the water pump. So hopefully easy fix. Don't got to do anything more. I'm going to try and get this thing on the dyno here in just a minute. There it is. There you go. She's circulating. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's hot water. You might want to leave it air go. She's flowing now. Look at that. All right, we got this thing strapped. We're gonna try and see if there's any problems whatsoever. Kind of re wanted to do a baseline here. We'll start at lower boost and just try and see if there's any tweak in there. So give her all the beans. This is going to be how many pounds right here? 26, 27. All right, let's see what she's got. had the breakup yeah so we were kind of talking about that as a t4 and we're looking at possibly doing a t6 very very shortly when i come back up hopefully they'll have that back on should be able to alleviate some of the back pressure there if we're making 27 pounds boost we're probably seeing maybe about 40 40 pounds of back pressure right there all right, so we started to pull plug wires out and uh, I got one on this side. Brady's got one on the other side. So we're thinking that's it. We're still gonna change the plugs anyway. Seems like the right thing to do. So we got some backup plug wires, right? Yeah, we uh, just gonna look for them. So. All right, well, we'll be back in business in a minute. There were mistakes made and potentially, uh, I think I was to blame there. <laughs> Probably staying on the trans brake for seven seconds instead of like, the one or two that all it needed but yeah we generated a lot of egt and chances are that's why we burned through four wires so there's another yep. one over there <laughs> whoops right. yeah sorry you're my boy keith all 
All right, so we've had a lot of problems, at least on our stuff. Uh, Keith has not had this problem before, but <laughs> nonetheless, if we wrap this right here and I got all these plugs, they kind of can tweak them just a little bit. Hopefully we're not gonna run into that same problem. We've got now a triple barrier. We had a double barrier before, but this should help, especially when those are tweaked just a little bit like that. See if we can make a lot more power there. We actually had a tire that was a little low over there, so that also could make a big difference in power, but we'll find out in a minute here. Like your exit for the dumps, the wastegate dumps climb and then they come back down. They went up like three or four inches and came right back down. Alert. Alert. Yeah, yeah. Back in the saddle. So when Keith start, first started building this thing, we were going back and forth with different ideas and things of uh, what to do. So kind of helped a little bit with the remote part of this, but Keith built an absolutely amazing piece right here. Kudos to Keith for that. And I've really wanted to get behind this thing and start doing some tuning on it. So our air fuel, Commanded is way way off so we got to be able to clean that up a little bit um, We're gonna go through the data log and just try and see what we see and see if there's anything we can Fix just to make it a little safer and maybe even make a little bit more power All right, so if you guys aren't familiar with a holly here uh, You have a given percentage of what it's trying to target all the time So we just went in right here and added the percent of what it needs to be now obviously that needs to be smoothed around there But that point right there is showing that we're out of injector now given the fuel pressure of what we're running we're gonna need to add a little bit of fuel pressure in order to really be able to make this work. Uh, part of the reason that our closed loop compensation was so high is the fact that we're probably running out of injector. So this is 1650cc injectors at a lower pressure, but we're gonna try and uh, clean that up a little bit more here and make this make this work. Let me hit the fuel. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Right there. All right, all right. so we're gonna make a pass real quick here, trying to see if we can get a little bit more power out of it. Uh, been on the track in it, it was a wild ride, and now we're just rolling it on the dyno here, trying to see how this thing's gonna feel, see if we can pick up a little bit. Hopefully made some repairs to the fuel system as well. <laughs> boost here and we're gonna we added a little bit of coil time so try and see if we can keep the coils from blowing out see if we can make this thing make a little bit more power here so we're gonna give this we're gonna give her another shot right here Yeah, that's a, how much is that? Twenty six? 
that would have been log it? 24 pounds. Yeah, we're gonna check that right. Yeah, 24 pounds. I haven't totally looked at the data log yet here, and and we we all each have our different own opinions of what we're trying to find as the the bottom of how and why this happened. So we got our plugs are gapped at 22 thousandths, and yes, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, you got you can tighten those up and whatever. Um, you'd actually have some problems fouling them out going yeah. any tighter than that. But uh, I think we could probably also lean up the mixture. There's there's other ways that we could try and maybe make that work. But you were gonna say something? It's just that this turbo is just an entry level turbo. Yeah. It's a small T4 flange in it. It's possible it could be congested a little bit. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it, if it wasn't, you know? Um, we're gonna put different turbo on it, but until then, hey, this turbo is free. We're gonna use it, you know? You have this, tur you have this turbo for free? Yeah. Get out oh. free. It's brand new. It's free. Okay, I said, I'm not going right. to use it. Use it. I said, oh, okay. So we're using it. We <laughs> might even want to try and uh, widen the coil width and maybe see what it does with one more pound. And, and I mean, we need to see. We have a baseline now of yeah. X, it makes X amount of power. So if right. we go up on boost or down on boost, how much are we gaining or losing? Right. It's really what we need to determine. And, uh, so let's, let's check this data log here. So we got six pounds on our gates and that is adding 19 pounds on top right there. So that's 25 pounds. Last run was 24 pounds and we made 1031. So we're going to try and testing those boundaries here, seeing where we have the breakup, where we're running out of fuel because we are really at the ragged edge of this fuel system right now. We did just crank up the fuel pressure, uh, 15 pounds. I thought we were gonna go 10, but 15 sounded better. We also really need to check out the efficiency of the turbo. So hopefully we can make 1060, one more pound of boost. We're still making 30 horsepower per pound boost. That would be a really nice picture right there. However, we just looked at Keith's turbo right there and that turbo is pretty tore up. It's had a lot of stuff go through it. So the turbo is not anywhere near what it would have, could have, should have, and has been. So it is not moving the airflow the way that it once was. out right there that's 18 pounds boost and then it goes up into about 27.1 pounds boost 14.3 degrees of timing uh, air temperature is amazing at 62 degrees obviously this big old ice igloo right there is freaking doing its job cooling temperature is low 140 something degrees but uh it's, we're reaching our target however this is the absolute limit of what we're going to be able to do with these injectors and uh, at least we determined that and we got where it is and where it is not breaking up. We actually did find out that that tire has a slow leak on it and I don't know. It's a pretty it, fast leak. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would like to uh, verify them one more time, maybe make one more pass and be done just to make sure that that is in fact the only variable, but everything else looks totally good. We definitely learned some, had some good takeaways from this whole little venture right here. So. Pretty interesting for me. I mean, this isn't crazy unusual for me to tune, but the car is absolutely really well set up. Okay, this is gonna be our last pull right here. Just as I was showing you a little earlier, now we've arrived at, this is exactly the path of where we took and we are right at running out of injector right there. <sighs> kind of a tough break, but uh, we're, we could definitely solve this by, run, by cutting the fuel a little bit. Probably running maybe two or three gallons of C16 on the uh, EV90 is what we're running right now. So that'll lower the overall concentration of ethanol and thus lower the volume that we have to be able to make. Our compensation will take care of the rest. We're gonna have a target air fuel mixture and it will meet that. But uh, now that we've got everything massaged to where it needs to be, uh, this is gonna be our last pull. We had one more variable, or we had a variable of that tire. So we're gonna make one more pass and hopefully we can make a little bit more power, really get a little bit more information to this. It's gonna be totally done and set.
sprinkled like about four tenths of a degree of timing. But dude, it's got better top end than we've had for sure. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, well that's a wrap right there, man. Hell yeah. 1050. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me and check out some of the stuff some of the projects that we're working on here pennsylvania trip was absolutely awesome i had so much fun had so great to be traveling again and doing a whole bunch of different things with a whole bunch of different people had to take a little break from youtube just things were so hectic had to get some time to calm down and uh glad to finally be back in the saddle on this aspect of things as well so i want to leave you guys with a quote real quick here something that i saw the other day kind of struck a chord with me and it said the fact that the media is lying to us doesn't surprise me the fact that many of us believe them does. And the song I want to leave you guys with is Remind Me Who I Am by Jason Gray. Hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. God bless you. We'll see you next episode. Go, girl! Go, peep! No, don't...